G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Recent heavy rains across most of Australia have meant that a lot of people have woken up to fences that aren't where they should be anymore. Today I'm trying out these ground anchors where posts have pulled out of the ground in gullies due to the amazing amount of rainfall that we've recently had. Now ground anchors are not new, they've been used in the horticulture industry for quite a while. This is an old ground anchor that I had at home. However, I'm playing around with a new one today that just has to be driven into the ground and you don't have to be underneath the fence line twisting it around, which should make the job a lot easier and make this a much more flexible repair solution for any farm. The ground anchors come in a variety of sizes. And you might think that this little tiny one is really cute and really not much use for anything, but it's got over 700 kilos of load bearing capacity when it's fully put in the ground. The mechanism by which these ground anchors work is really simple and really ingenious. They've got a balance point behind the tip. So when you drive them straight in the ground and then pull on them at an angle, they actually twist in the ground and create a flat footprint of pressure resisting being pulled out of the ground. The deeper you drive them, the stronger they grip. So it's a simple plan today. We're gonna to use the medium sized ground anchors to pull this post back down into the ground where you can see it's risen up in the middle of this water soaked gully. So the process is really simple. Drill a hole through the post about a metre above the ground line. Then ram in a medium sized ground anchor about a metre and a half away from the post in line with the fence on each side. Push the post into the ground using the bucket of the tractor. and then secure the post to the ground anchors using the hole to form a sort of an A-frame sling. Once that's completed, use a wire joiner to tie off the wire for this temporary repair. Lift the bucket up and walk away. So in under 10 minutes, we've been able to ram in a couple of ground anchors here, push the post back in place with the front end loader, tighten up a sling wire through the post and our fence is once again stockproof. And I think that's really critical in this wet weather that we get our paddocks back in order and we continue with our rotations so that we can maintain our low pest burden, uh, which is so critical on this soaking ground. So I reckon it's probably worth most people's while having a couple of these ground anchors in their fence repair toolkit. Total thumbs up for me, really easy to use, really practical and really fast. Well, Andrew, you're the land holder. <laughs> You're the poor schlub that I get to try this stuff out on. What do you think of these ground anchors, mate? Proper impressed. And not just from a temporary point of view. I yes. can see them being a permanent addition to those grounds where you've got undulations, where you know the post is going to pull up. I think they're excellent. Well, this is this is actually, people don't realise, this is the property that I did oh, probably two years ago now, yep. a video on how to fence a gully. And we put in this really complex... Uh, two-stage end assembly yes. to hold the posts in the ground because most people don't realize that these wooden posts they don't really hold in the ground that well you pour a cup of water around them you can pretty much pull them out the ground mm. uh, Peter Barrett keeps telling me that um, and uh, so having these ground anchors to wedge them down in a gully does seem like a good idea doesn't it absolutely agree I think it's a great idea and much simpler than big embraces or double embraces and that's the thing if you're looking at quality work and work that's going to last a while. You're an engineer, simple's usually best. Absolutely, every day of the week. Keep it simple, stupid. Now this wouldn't be a Tim Thompson review if we didn't try something stupid. So we thought we'd try out this Teleslock ground anchor as an anti-theft device for a ute. And it worked. So that wasn't any fun. We didn't break anything. Next was the tractor. And we managed to break it. Well, it's worked. I've proven that if you're stupid enough, eventually you can break anything. The tractor was able to break the Telus lock 
but it was interesting where it broke. It broke on the crimp and I'm wondering, because these crimps are different to the ones that are on the Telus lock, if these are being put on by a separate contractor and if they're maybe not being squeezed up tight enough, they are definitely a different looking crimp. Anyway, Muggins here's got a hole to dig. Guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit the little subscribe button down there, give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more content like this and more on timthompson.ag. And Andrew, thank you for tolerating me. Uh, thank you, Tim. <laughs>